Hello and welcome back friends. So today we are here with a new knockout. Our today's subject is nail paints. So this is a very interesting topic for the younger generation. So without further ado, we should start. But before starting, let me remind you, we have a Patreon family. So if you want to support us, do join our family. The rest of the details will be given in the description box. Now let's begin. First, like any other mock-up, we'll take the paint tool. Now this time, we have to make sure that the setting is set for shape because we would be needing this very particular setting for this mock-up. Alright? Now pressing Ctrl plus, we'll zoom in the picture and we'll select the nails. Now watch this very carefully because I will be showing this one nail and rest of it we will be doing in the first forward mode. Alright? So watch very carefully. Once you are done with the selection with the paint tool, now take the add archive points tool and then make the curves prominent with the nail shape. Also. We will turn the opacity of the shape to zero, just so it is easier for us to see. And then you know what to do. You just make the shape as the nail shape and match it. Whatever steps we are following for this nail, we'll be doing it for the rest of the nails too. So watch very very carefully because the rest of the video would be in fast forward mode. Now we are done with this one nail and then you do all the five other nails. If you need more help, you can slow down the video or you can pause in between or go back to watch it again and follow the steps. Once you are done with all the nail shapes, you'll see you have four shapes now. Now take all the four shapes and put it in a file. It means a group. Make them a group and then name them as object ID. Now. We will make a rectangle tool. Now we will have all four different rectangles for four different nails because here only four nails are visible. Now, once you have made one rectangle, you will right click on it and convert it to a smart object. Now by pressing Ctrl T, we will rotate this very particular shape, the rectangle and bring it to the very angle of the nail and then place it on top of it. Now we'll do another trick that is again right click on the smart object and select convert to new smart object. That means now this smart object would be copied another time. We would copy it and place it properly on the second nail. Now let's check uh, have we copied it properly or not. So for that we will click on the smart object and we will put some color in it just to check. All right. Now as you can see uh, select a color and then save this so it would be updated now see you can see the second nail is a little reddish tone right similarly we will right click on this object and copy new smart object and then we will get another one and then again we will rotate it and properly place it on the third nail and then doing the same process we'll make another smart object for the fourth nail once you are done with all the four smart objects decrease the opacity a little bit because uh, you need to see the nail through the uh, smart object just so you can do the mask out process later on now watch this step also very carefully because i'll be showing only the mask out process for only one nail the rest would be in fast forward mode first pressing ctrl t again adjust the shape properly and then select the option wrap by right clicking on this very smart object then you'll see um, a roundish figure forming around and then adjust it the size uh, the position and everything after you are done just go to the object ID group and then select the shape of this very nail and press control from the keyboard and then right below the screen you'll see a masking option click on it and then you'll see 
the whole smart object has taken the shape of the nail now increase the opacity of this object to see if everything is all right as you can see my nail is perfect now we'll do the same for the rest of the four nails after you're done with the four nails make sure you have increased all the smart object opacities to 100 now by pressing ctrl and shift together we will select all the masking parts of the smart objects all right from the layers and as you do that you'll see all the smart objects are being outlined in the main picture now by clicking on the background layer press ctrl and j so now you will have a different and separate copy of the selected portions separated from the main picture also all right in a new layer now we'll go to the adjustments from the top and then we will change the hue saturation to zero now by switching off all the layers you can just take one smart object and put your design there take whatever design you have i have already selected mine so i'll place it on it and then by pressing ctrl d you can just adjust the size and all make sure the whole smart object is covered after you are satisfied with your uh, position of the design, make sure that you save the design and save it in file or else it will not be uploaded or updated in the main picture. Now as you can see, right after saving, we can see the smart object being placed in the first nail. Like similarly, we will do the rest of the three nails too. Now we will switch on the layer that we had copied by pressing Ctrl Z and we will press Ctrl Z again but this time twice and make two more copies of it. So now we have three such layers and we will name them as Shadow, Midtone and Light. Now we turn off the uh, Light and Midtone layer and then with the Shadow we will convert it to from Normal to Linear Bird. Once you are done, turn on the midtone layer and convert it to linear dodge add. And after that, by pressing Ctrl L, we'll adjust the levels. Now here, adjust the levels according to your preferences. However you want your object to look, whatever theme you have, this plays a crucial role in knowing what sort of light and shadow you need so it's up to you and the customer preferences so you can adjust the levels until you are satisfied now we will switch on the light mode and then we will convert it to screen and then by pressing ctrl l we'll adjust the levels so now as you can see after doing all the effects and all now it looks pretty much realistic and uh, it's up to you how much adjustments you want to make whatever designs you choose but the steps will be similar so this is how we have completed our nail mockup and that's it for today we will meet you soon with another video and thank you for watching